Well, good day there, mateys. And happy National Cupcake Day. And in honor of Cupcake Day. That's right. Cream cheese. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I think I'm just going to eat the frosting. It is Wednesday. It is a hot one in North Carolina. We have cash of the class, uh, cash at the clap, castle at the. Clash at the castle. That's right. Clash at the castle. Uh, Monday Night Raw was uh, was decent. Is Roman Reigns gonna lose? I don't know, but I am on my way to Lowe's. We have a fence built, but our doggy dog dogs can still escape, which means I got to buy some. What's it called? Lattice. Good afternoon. Oh, it's golden hour. The sun's out at a perfect time. Don't mind me. Oh, I am tired. We, Ronnie, he'll be back in just a second. He forgot his phone, so he had to drive back to the house to get his phone. Who, who can leave the house without their phone? Come on, the audacity. It's Friday evening, and Ronnie and I are headed to the mall just to spend some time together. We like, sometimes we'll spend time watching a movie like we did yesterday at home together, and then sometimes we like to go out. So today, it was Ronnie's idea. Shh. Don't tell anybody, but it was Ronnie's idea to go to the mall because he knows what I like. So anyways, we're gonna go and just spend some time together today before I have to leave to California. That's right, you heard me. I am leaving for California on Sunday. Good riddance. And, and I'll be gone a week. Uh, I'm gonna go visit my parents and go to a conference at our original church in Sonora called Word of Life, if you guys are new here. But um, my mom's battling cancer, so I have to come see her. And uh, she's been admitted into the hospital, so it's imperative that I go see my parents this weekend and spend some time with them. So my lovely husband decided we should go out before I leave. Like I really want to, so whatever. But we, you know, we, there, there isn't a movie we're seeing. No, we're just gonna go walk around. Well, I mean, there is, but we already seen him and we already paid the money. <laughs> right. I can't believe Maverick is still out. I think I'm gonna go this way. Why? Why is Maverick still out? No, because, why are you going this way? Because it goes right to the mall. Which mall are you planning on going to? Not the Carolina Mall. Why not? Because that one sucks. You need to go to the bigger one, which is off of Highway 85. <laughs> Ronnie's getting lost. I can get there this way too. You can, but it's just a longer route. Turn right onto Boulevard. So we are at the NASCAR Charlotte Motor Speedway, brought to you by Coca-Cola, not a paid sponsor, but they are. I haven't been here in a long, in the a last, year. Yeah, the last time we were this way, it's been a year. So that's the motor speedway right there, as well as over there. I don't know if you guys can see it at all, but... Yeah, we, we haven't been down this far since we've been back this way, because we had a hotel out this way last yes, year we when we were visiting. There's the drag strip. There's the dragway, Concord, Z-Max Concord Dragway. Yep, I remember the RV thingamajigger. Yep, RV park. Hi, we are now at Concord Mills Mall, and we're we're just gonna go look to see what Bonefish Grill is and what kind of menu they have. It looks fancy. Bonefish sounds like a wrestling name. <laughs> I am Bonefish. Bonefish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at the menu. Wait, what is he doing? What are you doing? Can I hitch a ride, please? Let me get in. Wow. 
How you doing? Oh, perfect. Thank you. That's a big menu. I don't like the lighting in here. Look at the lighting. Look how crappy my quality is. You know that's a shape of a fish. I didn't even know I it. See it now. I didn't even know it either. So what'd you get? Finally. Finally the rock. I am able. I have to reward myself. I think you should be rewarded for being such a hard worker. After all this California nonsense and losing sleep and missing my woman. You are overworked, and I believe that you deserve a good, hearty meal. So Melody allowed me. <laughs> I did, with my permission. To get a lobster tail. Yes, sir. So I am getting a, and it's actually cheaper than like Red Lobster. It tail. is, and this place is quite fancy. It's very fancy. They don't have cheese fondue, though, and, and we are at the Bone Fish. What's it called? Bonefish Grill. Grill? Yeah. Bonefish Grill. And, we just fun sat fact. right down on a Friday night, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, and there was no wait. No and wait. our waitress comes from Ukraine. Ukraine, she was very, came right up to us. Yeah. Asked us if this was our first time. Already took and, our order. And she told us her favorites already. We didn't even have to ask. Yes. Very uh, great service so far. Great service so far. Yeah. I got the swordfish. I've what? never in my whole entire life have eaten swordfish. This you know I'm going to try it. Of course. This will be my first time eating swordfish. Um, and it was, at, it was at a decent price to get it as well. So Is it going to slice that, and dice your mouth? You know you don't eat the sword, right? You just eat the meat. Then why do they call it a sword? Because it comes from a swordfish, just like a trout. You don't eat the trout head, you eat the meat inside. But you're still eating trout. Exactly. Exactly, so you're eating trout, so you're eating sword. I'm eating a fish called a swordfish because it has a nose. Then like you're just sword. eating fish, not swordfish, if you don't eat the sword. If you ate a shark, would you eat its tooth? You're eating shark. Would you you're eating eat sword. Oh my gosh. Has he become difficult or what? There right. it is. We got little pieces of crab on top of a swordfish. These little pieces. So I'm gonna try the crab first. Little pieces of crab. It's different, but it's absolutely delightful. Wow, that's good. Okay, my first time trying swordfish. Yum. That is so good. I want a piece. All right. All right. I'll let you have a piece, but you don't. Take a bite of my swordfish before you have your lobster, though. Take a bite of swordfish. Gotta try swordfish. Oh, oh. And this is for tables. Thank you. Wow. That is really good. Super good. Interesting. Yes. All right, now it's your your lobster. You have to try My your first lobster time now. Trying lobster here in North Carolina? No. At uh, swordfish. At bonefish. Bonefish. Yes. My brain's on swordfish. Mmm, that's good. All right, here we go. <laughs> that smile on your face. In heaven. Got two of them. Yeah, that's amazing. For the price, that is great. I love that. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. 
Okay, we just got done with Bonefish Grill. Hold on. <laughs> Can't even get my sunglasses back on my head. What is your review of the Bonefish Grill? I'll tell you what, my my also, lobster look at that sky. was fantastic. Her fries. I mean her My my mashed potatoes, mashed garlic potatoes. mashed potatoes were something else though. They were a lot more flavorful than the swordfish, so but the swordfish was good. It just wasn't as flavored as I wanted it to be. But you guys, look at that sky. Welcome to North Carolina skies. That is absolutely gorgeous right now. Just like that man right there. Maybe I'll take a picture with you with that sunset. No. So, oh, bummer. Anyways, now we're gonna walk off all the food that, or all the butter that we just ingested into our system. So let's go. Walk off all the calories. Okay, so as I was saying, is that the swordfish needed a little bit more flavor. I mean, you could tell it was a, it was distinct. Yeah, so it was, it was it, different. It's like lobsters distinct. Flavor. It has a, it, I mean, as any other fish, it tasted like fish, but um, it was definitely different. Um, a thicker type of meat than you would with yeah, salmon. I would say that. Yeah, um, but it was really good. I couldn't finish it all, there was a lot. So they even put that little bit of um, crab, crab chunks on top, so those were good with some cooked spinach. Besides the Arnold Palmer, which oh, was a complete. Uh, that was disappointing. Arnold Palmer is my new favorite drink and it wasn't that good. It was not sweet at all, actually. I will tell you what. It was bitter. And I asked for one with no ice, and it still wasn't good. I know somebody who can make way better asparagus me, than that place, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't say My who. arm's getting tired. I, I got to stop. Who. This place called Coma Tea. How cute is that? Anyways, I asked what her favorite was, and she said the Dragon Dream. So I got that, the Dragon Dream, and I'm gonna get coconut milk instead of regular milk. But then also I got this Dragon Boba with it. So we gonna taste test it. We're gonna see if it's good. Yeah. It's actually called Coma Tea in representation of a comma and a break in a sentence. So go have a break and get some tea. That's why it's called comma tea, so. Yeah, it's not um, from the African Nigerian no. jungle root. I got bobas in there. You know, fun fact, I've never had boba tea in my whole entire life. This is my first time with this too. I guess I just- What kind of hand. straw is that? I don't know, do I open it? Do I just it no, you gotta pound the straw. Pound it, baby, pound it. Woo! Are we sure about that? Ooh, that's good. Okay, that's really good. That's a big straw. And it has a, it's, it's like a spice. It's different, but I like it. You try it. I'll be the judge. You'll be the judge. That? That's what I'm saying. It's a horrible straw. It's like Never a spice. Had like that. It's different, but it's good. Fun fact about um, North Carolina is that everything shuts down early around here. Stupid. And it's a Friday night and a holiday weekend, and like Best Buy is closed and it's only 8 p.m. Most places around here shut down by 10 p.m. So we have one hour. Like a lot of stores are closed and it's like, what, 8.15 right now? So that's kind of, it's, it's kind of dumb for us late night people who like to go out on late nights, but, and a holiday weekend. So it just doesn't make sense. So I guess we're just gonna have to make our way out of here because by the time we're done with this mall, well, that's interesting. By the time we're done with this mall, it'll be all, I'll be closed. 
Ooh, the dragon fruit just popped in my mouth. All right, we are at Video Game World and they have displayed all the original consoles. We've got the Nintendo, the very first 1970s family computer made by Nintendo. That's the very first one before this system came out. And then we've got the very first PlayStation. I had that one. I also had that one. That's the first PlayStation. I had that one. I also had that one. I had both of those, <laughs> the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy. I had the Nintendo 64. I did not have a Sega Genesis though. Um, Cadence had the Wii and the Game Boys and the Cube. Like everything. Oop, look at the that PlayStation down there. Xboxes down there. Memory. Why are you walking away from me? I'm talking to you. What? I'm talking to you. What? Stop it. I think it's like a full mile. Maybe even two, all the way around this mall. It's probably one of the biggest malls we've ever been to, but one yes. of the biggest, because well, I know I there's bigger really malls. Want, I need to my fries maybe, Your fries? I know that there's bigger malls, but this is one of the ones, biggest ones we've been to. I know that there's like malls that have roller coasters and rides inside them, but this one has a carousel. And, oh, yes, an aquarium, a sea life aquarium. Where's the sea's candy? You don't need sea's candy. What do you mean I don't need sea's you candy? You don't need sea's candy. What is your problem, bro? Look at all that food to choose from. Lionel is a pretty cool store if you're into trains. It always looks like I'm not shaking when I'm walking, but when I look back on the footage, I'm totally shaking. Because look how clear I look. But when I look back, it's like, ah. Reebok. Take an extra $20 off. Well, we've officially stayed at the mall till closing because they just announced that they're closing. We have to get out, they're kicking us out. Ronnie's in the wrist room real quick, but We walked off all our food, all the calories, and my back is hurting big time. But we had fun, just window shopping. I didn't really buy a lot. I didn't really buy anything, actually, so. Today, I am a hot, sweaty mess. It's the next day after our little uh, extravaganza at the mall, a closed mall. Um, we put this up, a pr half privacy fence, like, it's still see-through. That's not necessarily a privacy fence. And look, it was cheap. I went the most cheapest temporary route until we can get a good one. Um, yes, my hand is blue because Ronnie's using chalk to make, we're gonna be cutting this. Right now we're kind of drilling it to the deck and then we're gonna cut it straight to make it all even across. So I have some blue chalk. I don't know if you guys can see it. But um, we're all trying to enclose the dogs in so they don't escape because with me leaving, if the dogs are outside, I have a feeling they're going to be digging their way out. So I'm trying to plan ahead. And yes, that didn't reach all the way across because I got a 50 footer and it's 55, which is dumb. So now I have to get more privacy fence. So, but it'll be fine now. It'll be fine for now. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over that. <laughs> Oh, you're squeezing the life out of me. Listen, just because I, ow, I was nobody, over. Nobody wants to say anything. Don't, just don't ruin the moment. Here they go. Okay, bye.